Power BI lets us keep up with the increasing demand to understand data trends and the growing volume of data that drives it. You can transform the data connection into an efficient, useful table in Power Query Online for other users to connect to. You can create dashboards with different views at the same data flow. You can automatically refresh data in the data flow to the latest numbers. Hi, I'm Faraz, and I'm a data analytics enthusiast who enjoys sharing the incredible capabilities that we can tap into with Power BI. Come join me in my YouTube channel learning course on Power BI Data Flows. You'll need at least a beginning knowledge of Power BI. In my channel you can check out the essential training course to get a fast start on using the application. Most of the examples are in the cloud service, so it's also beneficial to at least understand why we want to leverage the standardations and scalability it offers us. You'll find the course more beneficial if you know the premise of using ETL frameworks for different sources of data. Power BI allows you to create scalable, visually interactive dashboards, or what Microsoft officially calls reports, that you can share with a large group of end users. Power BI gives them the capability to monitor, analyze and make decisions from multiple views of data without having to understand the business intelligence technology on the back end. Applications that roll into Power BI include Microsoft's Access, Power Query, Power Pivot and Excel. Power BI also leverages rapidly developing new technologies such as cloud computing, advanced analytics and machine learning. Power BI automates processes like connecting to and refreshing data. When you create a dashboard, you want to not only think about the end users leveraging the front end and the dashboards, but also think about how to configure efficient data processes on the back end. When an organization starts building out their Power BI cloud service, they may have a dashboard and its corresponding data set. However, as the number of users and dashboards and their corresponding data sets in the Power BI cloud service increase, efficiently managing these dashboards and data sets becomes increasingly more difficult. This is where data flows come in. Our focus for this course is on creating reusable data tables called Power BI data flows. Dataflows move much of the ETL framework into the shared cloud to reduce unnecessary duplicated data processes. They create a scalable and shareable process for working with your organization's data. ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. It allows us to first connect to numerous types of data sources. We can then clean the data, create formulas and manipulate the data table shape. Finally, we load or share the data flow to enable many other users to access the same data table. Because this is an essential course on Power BI data flows, we will not discuss much about the ETL framework semantics. If you would like to learn more about the Power Query Editor capabilities in Power BI, please subscribe to my channel and keep watching. Let's get deeping.